I'm Tom Ford. I'm a fashion designer. I wanted a scent that captured a meditative feeling. Oh, I can do this. Eben Fumé has an almost spiritual sensuality that uplifts your mood. Oh my god. Which might be the most seductive indulgence of all. So it is different. That's ambitious, Mr. Tom. Oh. Let's see if that's a success. Okay, so in today's video, I'm gonna guide you through the new launch by Tom Ford et Ben Fumé. I was so waiting for this release. First of all, we're gonna talk about the composition. I'm gonna tell you everything about the ingredients, how it's made, etc. Then I will tell you for who is it for, what feeling does it give me, anything like that, when can you wear those type of fragrance. And at the end, I will tell you about the longevity and also if I did like it or not. Let's talk about the composition. The fragrance is categorized as a woody amber. When you say amber, I'm already like waiting for some resinous, smooth amber tone. It's not that. On the top note, you've got Palo Santo woody accord and then some incense, black pepper and violet leaf. So that's the opening of the fragrance. Quite interesting to see Palo Santo uh, woody accord because this is not something that we've seen a lot or it, it hasn't been really referenced. But it's something that is actually really on trend nowadays and we're going to see much more blossoming now is actually used to purify the hair have a clean environment it's really there to meditate you can basically like burn it have this incense feeling and it's not as dark uh, smoke as it is with the incense properly this is like a slightly green lemony uh, zesty type of tone the smoke is slightly lighter than sage so it gives you like something i would say more approachable and a bit more airy I think I pronounced it well. <laughs> I'm not sure yet. You can find this wood in the south central of America. This is a protected tree, so that's why sometimes the ingredient can go in higher prices. But uh, you have to know that a lot of brands use Palo Santo, not directly the tree, but they basically uh, dip, uh, dip in the ingredient in the oil of the tree, which is much... Uh, cheaper uh, we don't want this from tom ford but seeing tom ford's quality of ingredient i would say okay might might be natural you know anyway so that gives like a strong incense citrus zesty type of touch to the that. fragrance and that's why it's used at the opening oh my god i'm telling you i've got a ghost in here ah! in the art of the fragrance you've got leather papyrus labdanum and rose normally the keynote in here will be rose it's something that you catch at the opening of the fragrance but it's not like a really rosy fragrance so don't be scared it doesn't stay that long it's here for me to give a little bit of softness the leather is really present and the leather note is given by the labdanum it's quite funny because for example when you look at the composition of the fragrantica you've got leather and labdanum but the labdanum is the leather note not fully the leather accords but you know it's part of it on the base you've got some resins a bunny tree and gaia wood there's three type of wood a bunny wood will be the darkest of the wood it always there to give some uh, intensity to the fragrance some gaia wood which is something a bit more common for example in Ambery fragrances, woody fragrances because it blends really nicely with it. It marries really well with leather and vanilla like kind of scent. So, you know, it can give a little bit of smoothness to your fragrance. But overall, you've got a very clean composition with a woody uh, top notes, woody undertone. It's really dry to me and you can really smell that woodiness everywhere and the incense is really present. So very like a mystic composition. There's no sweetness. Definitely for the cold weather, for wintery time, I think it's beautiful. It gives a bit that effect, okay, I'm a smart but slightly reserved person because it's not shouting too much and you would thought it would be uh, with all that ingredient but it's not it's very classy it slightly give me a little bit of a vintage note because the leather is quite present and it give me that slightly old school kind of vintage vibe it is not completely dark you do have like some freshness at the start and mainly given by that airy note you need to like the incense note definitely but i would say quite easy to wear because it's not overpowering it's 
absolutely unisex. I can't describe it as more feminine, more masculine. Maybe more masculine because there's no sweetness, but I don't think, you know. It smells ultra natural and that's what I like about this fragrance. It's not there to give you like a, a super posh feeling. It's very natural. It does smell like meditation. It smells like a spa to me, like I'm gonna relax. And you can really see that through the ingredients. It shows ingredients that are usually used to clarify, purify the air. Slightly that churchy vibe as well. So you need to enjoy that a little bit, you know. Definitely giving me that image or you're indoors. You, you're wearing like a, you know, like a warm uh, outfit, a turtleneck or anything like that, you know. You're reading books and there's a fireplace. You know, like very chill afternoon, evening, you know. <laughs> Uh, I would say average is definitely something that stays close to the skin. Uh, it's not a skin scent properly because you can still smell it around you and I think it's got a nice longevity. But don't expect you be small in there. I don't think it is to me. When I smell it the first time, I would say, I was like, oh yeah, okay, this is Tom Ford. So maybe I need to change that. And it also made me think of my first fragrance from Tom Ford was Santal Blush. It's as dry as Santal Blush. It's not really smooth. Santal Blush is spicy, dry, sharp wood, you know? And this one is basically a bit the same in the wood, but it's definitely more uh, mysterious, mystic, uh, blah, 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 and a bit more darker than Santal Blush would be. I know some people already compare it to Gucci Pour Homme. Uh, I I can't really remember smelling that scent so much but as I remember it was more focused on the incense vibe that's maybe why I don't know I'm giving you that because I've been reading reviews and I was like that can be interesting for someone to know if they know Gucci but I, I was not always a fan of Gucci so to be frankly honest I'm not too sure it's definitely a solid release however to be honest with you it's not something I would add to my collection because I feel that okay it's nicely blended it's nicely balanced it's really good i like it but for me it's nothing really special voila my expectation for tom ford are so high oh my god that when they release something i'm always very critical but i could see how it could be a great must-have in a collection uh, because uh, for someone that wants an incense smell, I do have plenty of those, so I don't feel the need I need that. I would say if you're not really into niche and want to see some creativity, it's amazing. It's gonna sound not modest at all, but for someone that, like me, that I really love my niche and I'm always, you know, deep in diving in there, it's nothing really special. So I think I'm not really the target, but I appreciate the fragrance, like I said, it's really beautifully made. What I love the most is that uh, Tom Ford has been doing something that from the ingredients uh, is exactly matching the idea that he has of the fragrance. On that note, like I think it's a great success and I think he's great. And I actually am gonna say to you that it's probably the one I prefer out of all of his releases nowadays. Through a lot of disappointment nowadays, especially for Soleil Brûlant and Tubéreuse Nue. Tubéreuse Nue, I didn't see the point, to be honest. I think you definitely have to have a try and you might be surprised uh, because uh, it's a good release. Video, please tell me in the comment what did you think of the new release but don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed yet that would be very nice of you to support me uh, also um, if you want to support me more you always have the possibility of my utip account in the description box obviously you're doing what you want but if you do uh, i thank you a lot <laughs> voilà. have a lovely day and i will see you soon bye now